We never had a chance for a proper hello. We are the Octonauts. I hope you're not still scared. Probably. Scaredy Simon is scared of everything. <laughs> <laughs> Will you dive down with us this time, Simon? Oh, no! Oh. oh, they're right. I'm scared of everything. Especially diving. What's so important about diving? All sperm whales dive deep down in the ocean to find food. Except him. <laughs> oh, I'll never learn to dive. I keep thinking I can do it. But I can't. It's too deep. Ah, oh, it's deep. And dark. And scary. But that's what makes it an adventure, me hottie. Ooh. Did I say something wrong? You know, I happen to know someone who's a champion diver. You do? Who? Peso. Penguins have to learn to dive too. But when I was little, I was scared to dive, just like you. Oh, you really think you could teach me? I don't see why not, unless you still think I'm an orca. <laughs> no. This shouldn't take long, Captain. <laughs> Quasi and I'll head back to the octopod. Radio us when you need a lift home. Good luck, matey. Simon, I've just remembered something. When I was learning to dive, there was a little trick that helped me not be afraid. Oh, what was it? Right before the dive, I would take a deep breath and then close my eyes tight. <sighs> Let's look for her by going that way along the tongue. Charge! Her <laughs> tongue is kind of ticklish. We better step lightly. Tiptoe. This looks like where we came in. So let's go back the other way. Slide. <laughs> These things keep you from falling onto your bum, eh, Captain? They're gills. The whale shark uses them to let water back out while keeping food in. You think Dashy could have gone out through the gills? Nope. She's too big. This wall feels all spongy-like. The sponge wall is another way the whale shark can let water out while keeping big stuff in. Looks like it kept Dashy's hair clipping. But Dashy must have squeezed her way through. She's on the other side. There's no time to lose. Let's suck in our bellies <gasps> and squeeze. <sighs> Quasi, Captain, can anybody hear me? <laughs> I guess not. <gasps> Don't roar at me. That's not a roar. That's a moan. You must be sick. When a sea creature's sick, I'm there. Even if he is as big as a school bus. Everything looks fine in the 
ear. Nose looks good too. Now I'll check your tummy. His tummy hurts. Poor whale shark. My friends must be in there. That must not feel too good. You usually only eat small things. I've worked out your problem, whale shark. You don't have measles or chicken pox. You have octonauts. We seem to have landed somewhere. Is that you making that clicking sound? I thought it was you making the clicking sound. Well, if it's not you and it's not me, then who or what is making the clicking sound? Whoa! <laughs> hey, guys. It's great to see you. Um... Dashy, we've found you. And you seem to be all right. I'm having the most incredible time taking what just might be the first photos ever taken inside a whale shark's stomach. I hate to interrupt your photo shoot, but if this is the whale shark's stomach, we need to get out now before we sink any further. Octonauts, let's get up and out. Totem pole. <laughs> Captain, look at this. It's white underneath. Hmm. Let me try that. <laughs> This is no reef. Jump! The ghost whale. Ah, I knew it was some kind of trick. Come here, you... Steady on, Quasi. We still don't know what we're dealing with here. It's coming back. Haven't you ever seen a whale with a sunburn before? This may be another ghost trick. Or this may not be a ghost at all. Ghost? Who are you calling a ghost? I'm a humpback whale. I just happen to be completely white. Nice try, but you're pink. I've got sunburn on my back and it doesn't feel very good to have you lot climbing all over it. Ouch, that must really hurt. Ah, oh, well, it's my own fault. Yesterday I spent too much time near the surface and got this nasty burn from the sun. With a burn like that, you should stay down here at the bottom, out of the sun. I'd like to, but uh, I can't hold my breath forever. I have to go up for air every 15 minutes. The sun will be coming up again soon. Unless we do something, your sunburn will get even worse. I know just the solution, Captain. A hundred cc's of super soothing beluga strength underwater sun cream. Uh, peso? Phew. Yes, Captain. I think we're gonna need more sun cream. A lot more. But that was my last bottle. Let's see. It's made from water, sea slime, mushroom coral mucus... Mushroom coral! That's it! What's he going on about? Once, in me pirate days, I found myself washed up on a desert island. The only thing that protected me from the scorching sun was a mushroom coral. It grows in the shallows and makes its own oily, oozy sun cream. That sounds disgusting. It sounds perfect. Let's go! Hold on, Quasi. There's not enough time to find the mushroom coral and bring it back here before the sun comes up. He'll have to come with us. I'm sorry, mate, but I'm not fit for swimming that far. This sunburn really hurts. If we can't bring the coral to the whale, we'll bring the whale to the coral. How are we going to move a whale? Come in, Tweak. We're going to need some gup backup here. You got it, Cap. Which gup do you need? All of them. 